Alright, so I have a lot of videos planned for the near future. I'm almost done with my Hero of Ages, and I'll post a review for that pretty soon. I have my December haul, and then, um, just a bunch of other stuff like that. Um, but right now, I just wanted to do, but continue, like, the book versus movie. Um, and I have a lot of them to do. I have to do, um, Hunger Games, all the Hunger Games trilogy, first two, um, Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson, the Harry Potter movies, and right now I'm going to be doing the Chronicles of Narnia because I haven't made a Chronicles of Narnia video in a while. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of these movies. I have, the, for book versus movie, I have Chronicles of Narnia, Harry Potter, to finish, um, um, Maze Runner, Lord of the Rings, um, in June, hopefully when the June movie comes out, I can't, I'm going to be really excited to do, to do a, that's kind of like my review book versus movie for the June movie. I might do an individual review and a book versus movie because I really love. I'm really excited for the June um the June movie. But right now, back to the real video. Um, this um this um Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe was really not a good book for me. Like again, it was just like. Like, it was very rushed, and it was very, like, it was, the whole movie was built up, the whole book was built up to ten pages of a battle. Ten pages from the end was the battle. Which kind of, like, of course it's a children's book, and I'm not going to blame it, and it's, um, maybe I'm the target audience, especially for this book. And I know, um, the books get better. Um, like, the last battle was epic. So was the, so was... Prince Caspian and um, Silver Chair and Boy of Don Treader, they're all amazing. Um and I love the magician's nephew as well. Um but the Lion of the Witch and the Wardrobe was like kind of a weaker entry, which was the first entry. And the movie kinda tried it fixed a lot of the problems it had, but I have different problems with it. It fixed a lot of the problems kind of like it's really just like there's more action. And I feel like in that action, they're kind of, like, trying to jam too much into, like, this little whimsical book. Uh, like, they're in doing what they just did, kind of, like, jams, like, all this, like, the visuals, which were, which were fine on my, the, the beaver was pretty bad. <laughs> and, like, looking at the CGI, but, like, like, I do think that, um, the queen was, um, portrayed excellently, um, in the movie. I like the movie, but being a kid's book, the movie leaned way too much on the World War II plot aspect just to make it more interesting to adults. Like, basically, just like, the start of the movie comes out with them being bombed, which is very not this book at all. Um, but I liked it. Like, the movie wasn't that bad. Like, Aslan, it was a very good job portraying Aslan, the lion, um... Of course, these Chronicles of Narnia books are so tiny. I'm pretty soon I'm gonna get a one one of the big editions of all of them with all the books in one, and then I'll just use these books for reviews because I love this series. Um, this is a very good, near and dear to my heart series. Very short reads. I definitely recommend you reading them. These are all day reads. I read them all in a day. Oh, well, not all seven of them a day. Each one one day. But yeah. Um. So, Chronicles of Narnia, the book, I forgot what I gave it, I think it was a, either a 3 or a 4 stars on my Goodreads, and then the movie, I'm, I'm going to give it 4 stars. Um, they're both really good, and I would recommend you to read them. Alright, so again, I'm very busy, got a lot of videos coming for the future, so see you in the next video.